This film is part of a series featuring 10 student films from the University of Montana's Media Arts Department. Watch and enjoy. I'm Rachel Stevens and I directed 20 Nothing and we did that film through the International Documentary Challenge. It was a long haul but only in five days and we decided as a team that we wanted to do something about a person, a profile. And the subject in our film 20 Nothing is Evan Smith who is actually my boyfriend and he has one eye, we all knew that he had one eye, and that was way more interesting to my team members than it was to me. I didn't even realize, didn't even think that we might make a film about Evan and his one eye. And Evan was actually on the team, he was on the crew, until we decided as a team that we wanted to make a film about Evan. So it was a funny conversation, discussion, when Evan was at the table and then we decided we wanted to make a film about Evan. He had to leave the table so that we could figure out <laughs> what that was going to look like. 20 Nothing is a finalist in the International Documentary Challenge, which means that it gets to premiere at the uh, 2014 Hot Docs Film Festival in Toronto, which is huge. And that was already beyond our wildest dreams for this film because we love it. And so to see that other people love it, too, is really exciting. And we want to see it go further. We want we're hoping that maybe it'll win an award at the at the film festival or maybe uh, we can submit it into other film festivals. We're just so proud of it and we think that it can go far and we think that people would really like to see it and will really love watching it. My first girlfriend in college, I met her in the dorms through some like mutual friends and the first time I met her this is so like cheesy, but she like said to our mutual friends like, hey, who, who's that guy with the beautiful eyes? And then they're like, Evan? Oh, he has one eye. And she's like, what? I like to ski and climb and bike, make stuff, hang out with friends, things like that, just like anybody else. I kind of like it, it makes me unique, you know. I don't know, it's more when others are like, Oh, well, it's okay if you're not good at that because you have one eye, you know, especially like sports or something of that nature. And so, like, when I play sports and, like, you know, I think I've been playing with this hockey team. This is my second season, and I think half of them don't even know that I only have one eye, you know. I think everybody cares about how they're perceived. So I have a clear eye, and that has been dubbed my party eye. It's primarily just a placeholder, um, especially for when I'm doing water sports or anything of that nature, um, where it's more prone to fall out. Since it's clear, you can see all of the like flesh and everything inside, so it's kind of not the most pleasant thing for others to see. The first thing I remember is completely after it, and that is eating a quesadilla with tomato soup. There was a stick. Um, my folks were trying to sell our house, 
So they had a piece of dimensional lumber. It was like a two by two by six foot carved to a point. Um, my brother picked it up and threw it into one of the snowbanks and I just happened to be hiding behind it and it went through the snowbank, went through the snowbank and just so happened to hit my eye. My brother rushed over to me and he's, you know, much larger than me. He was almost 10, you know, and so he's much larger than me. Scoops me up and throws me over his shoulder, kind of like a piggyback ride. And I remember just being slung, you know, because I wasn't really grasping because I was just like, you know, freaking out. And I just remember this like blurry image from tears and me looking over his shoulder and like blood dripping down the left side of my face and him just like carrying me into the house. <laughs> my poor brother. That we just care so much about one another and just have a really, really amazing friendship. Um, and I think a lot of that is primarily due to the fact that he poked out my eye. <laughs> he has to be nice to me. To me, it's, it's normal, it's every day, you know? To somebody else, it's weird and, you know, it is kind of gross looking back in there, you know? I don't know, I mean, people ask me all the time, like, if you could get an eye implant, would you? I don't think I would. Growing up in a small community, everybody knew that I had one eye. You know, I just really identified with it because it was what made me different, what made me unique, and me. You know. Thank <laughs> you.